these videos, you learned a lot about serving sizes and mixed foods. Now I'm going to walk you through how to complete your workbook pages for these videos. We will need to complete pages nine and pages 10 in your workbooks. And remember, when you're finished, remember to turn them in. We're going to look at the hand symbols and measurements below each picture of food. By looking at the pictures, we're going to select if the food is half a serving, one serving, or two servings. Fill in the bubble with an X for the correct serving size that matches the pictures. Let's begin with the first picture, apple. Here we have one handful, which is the same as half a medium apple. Is this half a serving, one serving, or two servings? When you have your answer, go ahead and fill in the bubble with an X and continue with the rest of the questions on page nine. You can pause the video here to give yourself time to answer each question. All right, friends, great job. Let's go ahead and move on to page 10. We're going to review what Sarah ate and we're going to fill out the number of servings in the serving chart section. If you remember from the previous video, I went over on how to do this too. Let's review Sarah's daily meals. I want to point out that everything that Sarah had to eat is all one serving. We're going to use Sarah's daily meals at the very top of our page to fill out the servings chart below. We're going to go through every item and you all will place the food item in the correct place. Once you fill out the chart, you're going to add up what Sarah had for dairy, vegetables, fruits, grains, protein, and extras to see if she met the recommended amount of servings for the five food groups. Each food item is going to take up one box in the chart. Let's go ahead and begin. For breakfast, she had cereal, milk, and banana, in the example, cereal is placed in the grains column. Where would you place milk and banana? For lunch, Sarah had half a turkey sandwich, which includes one slice of bread, turkey, and mayonnaise. She also had carrot sticks and punch. Where would we place the bread? What about the turkey and the mayonnaise? How about the carrot sticks and the punch? Remember, all of Sarah's items are for one serving. For a snack, she had crackers. Where would we write down crackers in the serving chart? For dinner, she had a stir-fried chicken, which includes chicken, noodles, and vegetables. She also had rice and water. Where would we place the chicken? Where would we place the noodles in the serving chart? What about the vegetables? Rice? What about the water? For her second snack, she had a yogurt parfait, which included low-fat yogurt, strawberries, and granola. Where would we place low-fat yogurt? How about the strawberries and granola? All right, my friends. Next, you're going to add up each food group to see how many servings of each food group Sarah had in one day. Now, for each glass of water, you're going to mark an X under where it says, for each glass of water consumed, mark an X. Go ahead and pause the video to help you fill out this chart. Good job, friends, we're almost there. We're going to move on to what I learned. We're going to write a letter to Sarah explaining the importance of eating the recommended number of servings from each food group every day. Include an example of food group in which Sarah's recommended amount of servings was not met. Identify a food that Sarah could add to meet her daily recommended amount. This is another great place to pause your video to continue working. Good job, friends. We just reviewed the workbook videos for our lesson. Remember, once you're finished with pages 9 and 10, turn in your workbooks and stay tuned for our next lesson.